Hi, I'm Andy. I really like your dress. I'm a princess. I'm a mermaid. I'm the director of Parks and Recreation. I'm here to fix that hole. This is our kingdom. You have to ask permission. Excuse me? You, your highnesses, we do humbly request thine permission to befix doth holes yonder. Only if you can tag us. Come here. Ah! Your tax dollars at work. Hi, Diane Lewis. I own this pothole. Ron Swanson. I'm here to fix it. Oh, seaweed joke! <laughs> that large boy is my colleague. We work at the Parks Department. Oh, you're not even from the Public Works Department. Look, it appeared that no one from the proper channels was going to fix this, so I decided to do it myself. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, I do. Lemonade? Please and thank you. Hey, I'm sorry if I was curt earlier. I'm a single mom, and sometimes things get chaotic around here. And when you shut up from the parts department... No need to apologize. I understand completely. This is delicious. Well, I got it from food and stuff, so... That's where I got these gloves. Right? So, how exactly are you gonna fix this hole? Just for my own edification. Uh, I dug the loose gravel out of the hole. Now I'm using a jackhammer to remove the larger pieces. Then I'll spray down the hole to settle the dust and fill it with cold patch asphalt. Well, thank you. Now I can fix the next one myself. Ron and Diane sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Do you hear that bird? Andy, come help me tamp this down. For the last time, Ron, it's Princess Rainbow Sparkle. Holy Moses. Can we turn you into a princess? No. I think it would really make Diane happy. Why would that matter? Shut up. <laughs> would you please come help me tamp this down? It's a job that requires two men. Or does it require two princesses? Please, please, please. please. More rouge. Everything going good? <laughs> I came here to fix a pothole, not be mocked. I'm sorry, it's just your face is ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you for the lemonade. The asphalt will bear weight in an hour. Time to go, Andrew. Oh. We, we were gonna make a sparkle palace! Ron, you're walking across hot lava! Oh, oh no! Then Anna asks Gray to punish her. Donna, please, can you keep it down? Or at least research how to deliver a baby that's coming out face up. Lie the mother on her side and try to move the baby in a corkscrew fashion. Diane is awesome, and she likes you, and you like her, I can tell. A, I don't recall inviting you in here, and B, I did not like her. She's not my type. Her life is messy, Ron. Messy is fun, okay? My whole life is a giant mess, and I love it. I mean, look at my hair. I have gum in my hair. Listen, I will not pursue Diane. End of story. Excellent work, everyone. Particularly you, Ron. You have one very satisfied citizen. What did you do for her? Fixed her pothole. Is that a euphemism? No. Then great work. In fact, she's out in the hallway and wants to thank you herself. If you're here to complain about the pothole, I guarantee I did it correctly. Actually, I'm here to ask you out for dinner. Really? Well, I hope you're not the kind of man who needs to ask the lady out. I'm a middle school vice principal. I don't screw around. Does that freak you out? No, on the contrary. So dinner? Please and thank you. Well, it'll be casual. No need to wear makeup. I begrudgingly admit that the 311 program is a moderate success. I'm still not sure why the citizen decided to come speak with me in person, but I'm just happy to see a government program finally work.